In this video, we will look at two justifications as to why zero factorial is equal to one. By definition, n factorial of a non-negative integer is the product of all of the positive integers less than or equal to n. And notice how zero factorial does not quite fit this definition. In general though, n factorial is equal to n times n minus one times n minus two all the way down to times three times two times one which means six factorial is equal to six times five times four times three times two times one, which equals 720. Five factorial is equal to five times four times three times two times one, which equals 120 and so on. Notice how in each row, the factorial decreases by one until we get down to zero factorial, which we are trying to find the value of. Let's look for a pattern to see if we can determine the value of zero factorial. If we start with six factorial or 720 and want to determine the value of five factorial or 120, notice how six factorial has an extra factor of six that five factorial doesn't have. And therefore, if we start with 720 and divide by six, we can determine the value of five factorial, which is 120. 720 divided by six is 120. Looking on the right, we have the detailed work five factorial is equal to six factorial divided by six. If we expand six factorial and simplify, notice here we have six divided by six, which simplifies the one, leaving us with five factorial or 120. And now to determine four factorial, which is equal to 24 from five factorial, because five factorial has an extra factor of five that four factorial doesn't have, we would divide 120 or five factorial by five to determine four factorial or 24. 120 divided by five is 24. Or on the right, four factorial is equal to five factorial divided by five, expanding and simplifying. Five divided by five simplifies the one, giving us four factorial, which equals 24. Continuing this pattern, to obtain the value of three factorial of six from 24, we would divide by four, 24 divided by four is equal to six, the value of three factorial. We're looking at the detailed work on the right. If we look at four factorial divided by four, four divided by four simplifies the one, leaving us with three factorial or six. To determine the value of two factorial from six, we would divide by three. Six divided by three is equal to two, the value of two factorial. To find the value of one factorial from two factorial, we would divide by two. Two divided by two is equal to one, the value of one factorial. Continuing this pattern to determine the value of zero factorial, we would now divide one factorial or one by one. One divided by one is equal to one, which does give us a value of zero factorial. And again, the detailed work is shown here on the right. Let's take a look at a second justification as to why zero factorial is equal to one. A factorial represents the number of permutations or arrangements of items or elements when the order matters. For example, there are six permutations or arrangements of the letters A, B, and C when order matters. The permutations or arrangements are A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B, and C, B, A. The number of permutations of three items is three factorial, which is equal to six, which means zero factorial indicates the number of permutations or arrangements that can be made with zero items or elements. Even though there is nothing to order, there is one way to do this, and therefore zero factorial is equal to one. I hope you found this helpful.